Bah, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for First Look, our unboxing series. And while what we're unboxing today isn't the freshest, it does have, I have to say, one of the freshest looking websites. I am, of course, talking about the Eden Network. Beautiful graphics and a really cool product as well. Why has it got Andre Cronje excited? What does it do? Well, all of that coming up after this message from our sponsor. Don't let high gas costs keep you out of Ethereum. A balance of the gas-optimized Vault architecture makes trading cheaper than anywhere else. Liquidity providers can optimize their fee earnings using the dynamic fee system that automatically adjusts to market conditions. You can also use asset managers to lend out idle assets, dramatically increasing your capital efficiency. And because Balancer is an open platform for flexible, automated markets, you can choose from stable pools or weighted pools, and in the future, more designs will be created that we don't even know about yet. Check it out at balancer.fi. So when you first land on the Eden Network, you are greeted with the words, welcome to Eden, trade with confidence. <clears throat> what does Eden Network do? Well, effectively what it does is it says, you, trader, can, if you want to, gain a priority pass to an Ethereum block. That's effectively what it's saying. It's saying, <clears throat> you found yourself in a position where you're getting sandwiched, you found yourself in a position where you're getting front run, or you just want to get your transaction through, and it's really, really hard. Last week, when Ethereum started to move up, you would have seen gas prices 300, 400, and it gets really, really difficult to get a transaction through. It's also really, really expensive to get a transaction through. So Eden Network is, is a protocol that does something rather clever uh, to allow you to gain a priority place in a transaction block. Effectively. Andre Cronier has announced that Keeper is expanding to uh, a partnership with Eden Network. Why are they doing that? Well, uh, we will get into that. So <clears throat> basically all of this revolves around the idea that, excuse me, block producers have a certain number of privileges that they can exercise. One of them being that they can decide what order transactions appear in a block. And this obviously is something that can be abused, that power, but it's also something that can be used in the right way to create more favorable conditions for everybody. And that is effectively what Eden Network is doing. It's basically saying, if we work together, block producers, the people that can benefit most from orderly transactions, i.e. DEXs, for instance, and traders who want to get their trades through without broadcasting everything to the network, well then, actually, everybody wins. And we enable everyone to win by creating uh, a token economy, which is the Eden token, which benefits everyone, which is circular. Uh, and that is effectively what they've done with Eden Network. From an end user perspective, what it means is, for instance, you want to get a trade through quickly without a butt spot, spotting it and front running you, then you use Eden. Now, there are other ways to do this. You can use Flashbots, but Eden is a lot simpler. And if you are uh, a DEX like Sushi, for instance, and Sushi is a partner of the Eden network, they can stake Eden tokens <clears throat> for slot positions in a block via the Eden network, that means that anyone who uses Sushi gets priority access to Ethereum, which means that their DEX just runs better and runs smoother. It's a better trading experience all around. Starting to see how it works. And if you're a block producer on the Eden network, you get rewarded in Eden tokens for um, producing blocks. This is how it all works. So as I mentioned before, you can uh, have a slot in a block uh, for instance, Sushi is a slot tenant. That means that they basically stake a bunch of Eden and it gives them access to uh, priority space on a block. And that's a great experience for a trader. You have block producers who will be producing blocks and minting Eden. Uh, you have, this is an RPC trader. So instead of um, accessing a, a, a DEX or something that already has a slot, you can gain priority access your st yourself. And so there's there's ways of, um, you can stake Eden tokens, you can use the Eden RPC, and then any interaction you have with an Ethereum dApp goes through the Eden network and means you should get priority access to the blocks. Now, the more you stake, the higher your ranking and the better your position in the queue, but that is effectively how it works. So if you are trading regularly, and if you're 
finding yourself getting front run, then you can stake Eden tokens and get a much, much more favorable trading position. And this would make much more sense for larger traders and larger position sizes. But of course, uh, it affects any interaction you have with the Eden network. So you could you could try and uh, mint an NFT, for instance, using uh, the Eden network. <clears throat> That's what it's designed for. It's designed to put you at the top of the queue. And yeah, it's a really interesting idea. If you go in the white paper, they're very specific about what this is. So you're still interacting with the Ethereum network. And all they're doing is they're taking the piece of the puzzle, which is uh, the ability of block producers to reorder transactions in the most favorable way possible for them and turning it into its own economy and then building um, a, a token incentive network or a token incentive system that makes it favorable for everyone to act in the best interests of Eden. Now, there's a ton of information. It took me a while to really kind of dial down into what was going on here. But what I loved about it was the fact that if you wanted to trade on Sushi, you don't even need to have Eden tokens. You can just use Sushi and then you're gaining access to um, the benefits of an Eden um, powered transaction every time you use it and you don't have to worry about it. But equally, if you wanted to uh, get started as a trader, you can, um, if we go here, we could, for instance, connect up our um, wallet and then we have to stake at least 100 tokens. You can buy those tokens on Sushi so you're already gaining benefits of uh, Eden. So we can click and buy the Eden tokens on Sushi here. Uh, be very, very straightforward. I actually need to check how much an Eden token is. So let's see what the value of those 100 tokens is at the moment. So here we are, the Eden tokens trading at $6.54. Let's see, so $650 to stake on the Eden network. Oh, wow, look at that. It's gone up significantly. So clearly seeing some usage. But $650 for staking 100, it's the minimum. So I probably wouldn't get you ranked very, very high, but at least you know, you're getting some benefit to the Eden network. But it's interesting seeing Andre Cronier uh, saying that Andre has acquired 602,409 Eden to make Keeper a slot tenant. So that basically means that when you're interacting with Keeper, they can protect Keepers and jobs from front running while having priority access to block space. Um, here's an interesting statistic. Over half of Ethereum hash power is on the Eden network. That's incredible. So clearly the Eden network is being adopted and clearly miners are seeing the benefits of the fees that come from being part of the Eden network. So the question is, why wouldn't you use Eden? And I couldn't really find any reason why I wouldn't, to be honest with you. Uh, it gives you even greater reasons to trade on Sushi. And yeah, generally, just it was a really interesting deep dive into this to try and figure out what was going on here. But I liked it. I liked it very, very much. And I think in the future, I will probably be aim to use uh, Eden Network dApps. What I couldn't find was a list of the slot tenants, who's using, um, who is a slot tenant on Eden. It would be nice to see if we could find that somewhere. But um, for now, at least you know that Sushi is one of them. Uh, and Sushi is a place that is a DEX that has an enormous amount of innovative products and innovative things going on. So I highly recommend checking them out. Uh, but yeah, that's it, Eden Network. Just a way to, uh, benefit from MEV and lots of different ways to plug in there. But yeah, I was really impressed by Eden Network. That's it for today's first look. It was broad. It's uh, definitely worth digging in further into the documentation on Eden because uh, I think there's lots to learn about the specifics of block ordering and, and how blocks are actually created and what happens when a miner looks at your block and decides whether they're going to take it or not. And, and that's it when they look at your transaction, not block transaction. Uh, but that's it for this week. Uh, as always, any suggestions you have for us, drop them in the comments below. Uh, drop us a subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. And we will see you on the next one.